This tragic crash may lead to new laws in South Carolina. Last week, Cynthia Furr, her two-year-old daughter and 13-year-old Hunter Holt were killed in an apparent street race. Tyler Stasco remains behind bars charged with their murders. But tonight, our focus turns to the woman police say was racing Stasco. Carlene Atkinson has not been charged in this crash, but we have learned she has 14 speeding tickets in 10 years. And she still has her license. News Channel 36 reporter Maria Catula is live now to explain how South Carolina wants to protect you from drivers like her. Well, many South Carolina drivers are asking the same questions. How can someone with 14 speeding tickets still have a license? And how can they even be insured? Well, state lawmakers are scratching their heads too. And there may be changes coming down the road. It's just like people with DUIs that get a DUI and they get to drive. Like many who drive by this scene daily, Nadine Cash wants to know how a driver with 14 speeding tickets in 10 years still has a license. It begs the question, does the point system we currently have serve as a deterrent? Police believe that repeat Leadfoot was street racing before this crash that killed three people. State Rep Gary Simmerl and other lawmakers are looking at the laws. Speeding usually is a four point violation. We look at it as you get three, three times at bat. In North Carolina, a, a driver can lose their license if they've got 12 points. You... Same as South Carolina. Okay. Now, now how you get to that 12 points could be another story. South Carolina has a free be on the books. A local municipality, for example, to ticket a driver and they are assessed only a fine and not points. Cracking down on serial speeders may mean points staying on your record longer. Is the habitual offender portion of the law confined to three years? Is that enough time? Lawmakers will also look at insurance issues. At what point is a person uninsurable? You've been convicted 14 times in 10 years. We, we can't write you insurance. Now, legislators reconvene in two weeks, but the speed issue won't hit the books that quick. Lawmakers will focus on changes this summer, but the earliest any laws could be put into place would be by early 2010. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom in South Mecklenburg, Maria Catula, News Channel 36.